Hello, I'm Meg Ryan. Cancer is a dreaded diagnosis, but there is promising news. With early prognosis and the right treatment plan, the five-year survival rate has dramatically improved, and new breakthroughs are emerging every day to help us fight this deadly disease. A cancer diagnosis is the last thing anyone wants to receive. But if confronted with a disease, the first question patients often ask is, how can we treat it? Thankfully, there are several options ranging from surgery to chemotherapy, radiation, and immunotherapy, all of which have come a long way since the early days of cancer treatment. In fact, one of those disciplines, radiation oncology, has an advanced form of therapy known as proton therapy, that's linked to numerous benefits and favorable outcomes. In radiation oncology, there are two broad directions where advances have occurred, technology and biology. One of the most promising technological advances has been the advancement and development of proton therapy. This is a highly precise form of radiation that allows us to spare exposure of normal tissues to unnecessary radiation dose and thereby reduce significant side effects. Sound promising? It is, but it's only being used on less than 2% of radiotherapy patients, a stunningly low number, which raises the question, why aren't more cancer patients being treated with proton therapy? A recent publication in the Journal of the American Medical Association showed that 98% of patients with primary indications or initial cancer diagnostic who astro, the premier radiation oncology society in the world recommends PT as treatment, are not being treated by PT, representing 85,000 US patients. In the United States, 1.9 million people are diagnosed with cancer every year. On average, 50% of those 1.9 million are going to get radiation oncology as part of their treatment. And in fact, only 1.5% of those patients are going to get proton therapy. Insurance companies have been slow to recognize proton therapy effectiveness and thus reluctant to approve the cost of treatment. Proton therapy is newer than traditional radiation therapy, so it's taken time to gather evidence showing this, this efficacy. But that evidence continues to grow. Currently, there are 135 open clinical trials and evidence promoting the value of proton therapy for many disease sites and reduction of side effects is mounting. Proton therapy still remains a therapy that's of limited access to most patients. Most estimates suggest that about 20% of patients could benefit, and yet less than 2% of patients have access to proton therapy. This situation is improving. We now have over 40 centers where proton therapy is now available, and the cost of delivering proton therapy is also diminishing. So increasingly, we have improving access, but we still have a long way to go. In June of 2020, Emma was diagnosed with a germinoma brain tumor. Treatment options for Emma were definitely chemotherapy and radiation. Without radiation or proton therapy for Emma, the chemotherapy would have killed some of the tumor, but the chances of it resurfacing and growing rapidly were very, very high. I'm extremely thankful. Like, and especially since I did a project, a pretty big project about proton therapy, I know like the different effects that compared to regular radiation and proton therapy, the benefits that I can get from having proton therapy over regular radiation. Because proton therapy, it's like a lot more precise. It's really only on that one point where it needs to hit. It's not touching anywhere around that point. I'm back to doing almost everything that I've done before, if not more. Um, a high schooler now so I participate in a lot of things. I just turned 15. I just feel like it's it's getting a move on. I'm grateful that insurance covered the proton therapy for Emma. Very very grateful or else she would have had to have regular radiation which would have been um, a lot higher risks for her future. I can't express how grateful I've ever been for it. The experience was amazing, the treatment was amazing, the people were amazing. And there's just no other way that I can say I was grateful for it. Every family should have an opportunity for this therapy. When it comes to the treatments that these kids need, they'll be so much better for their futures. Insurance approval has remained a major barrier for many patients seeking proton therapy. This should not be the case. 
Unfortunately, many patients experience delays in initiating proton therapy because of the need to get insurance approval. This situation needs to change because many patients are deprived of life-saving therapy, therapy that could dramatically decrease side effects, therapy that substantially improves their quality of life. As modern medicine and healthcare continue to improve, those improvements will be highlighted here. I'm Meg Ryan. See you next time.